All right, let's get it. See if there's any fish in here. Let's throw this crappy jig around real quick just to see if there's anything down there. Been seeing a lot of bait fish. And the stock looks good. There we go. It's the first crappie of the day. I might keep this guy. There we go, first crappie out here at Fountainhead. Got him on the little uh, chartreuse jig. We'll let him go for now, I don't feel like cleaning him. That was a nice little fish. Let's see if there's any more sitting out here. It's about uh, 8.30 right now. Got a late start, but oh, I can see the fish. Yep, I could see that fish. That was a little bass. It's number two. That was literally right after that first fish. I think they're stacked out here. Give me a little guy. These fish are so feisty. All right, well, that's the first bass. Super small. Get him back in. I think there's fish stacked up right outside of this dock. Get that guy back in. There we go. That's the spot right there. I'm going to bring it out uh, over here to the left. Nice slow retrieve. A little pop there. Yep. There they are. A whole school down there. You know what? Let's fill up this live wheel. We're going to keep some crappie today. Change my mind. All right, well, we got that guy in there. Let's get back after it, see if there's any more of these fish. There he is, crappie number two. Nice one. So these crappie are hitting it. Not on the fall, but kind of just like on the straight retrieve. And I know that they're suspended because of the line of the lure is pretty much halfway in the water column. I'd say it's pretty deep over here. I mean, not too deep, but fairly deep. And they're just coming up and smacking it on the retrieve. It's crazy though, because you can see some of these fish, it's so muddy, but these fish are just coming up to the surface, just sitting there. So you know that they're coming up and eating it. Getting hit. There we go. A little small, but the crappie population in here is pretty good, so. Make a longer cast. There we go, that's the spot that I want to work it right there. These crappie are just so fun to catch. I'm thinking a few more crappie. Once that bite slows down, we'll go after the bass. So I did come out here for bass. Can't forget that. Yep, there's a fish. It's a nice crappie. Ooh, that's the biggest one of the day. There we go. Let's get him in there. This is a good eating. There you go. It's definitely a nice school right in here. I mean, this whole area is... There we... That's another one. Oh, my Lord. I might have to let this guy go. He's kind of small. Nope, he's a good one. This is literally just cast after cast at this point. A little bit smaller, but we'll keep them. This is fun though. I haven't fished uh, I haven't fished Fountainhead in quite some time. I've been fishing down in uh, central Virginia and on Back Bay and Virginia Beach. I haven't been here in a while, so it feels good to be back at my home lake. I might get up in those Fountainhead tournaments once I can find the bass. There we go, that's another one. Look at this guy, he's super light. Mm, he's too small. There's no size limit, but let him go, let him grow. All 
All right, so I just went in there and counted, and I got seven crappie in total. I'm just gonna catch one more and call it a day for the crappie, and then to go after these bass. I got a bass spot that I want to get after. It's a good little crappie bite this morning. I was only for about 40 minutes. Man, they're eating. All right, one more fish. Let's go. There he is. Number eight right there. Now, it's time to go after some bass. There he is. There's number one. Stay down. Finally, that's a good fish. Probably about two pounds. Maybe three, we'll weigh him. Get the net. Yeah, two pounds. Oh, there we go. I knew there was gonna be fish up here. This is a great cove to catch some fish in. All right, let's well, fish. Well, first bass, actually second bass. First one was super tiny. First bass of the day. Get this guy in, came off the uh, Berkeley Pit Boss, black and blue flake. Thought he's a lot bigger, but he's about two pounds. He's got a little bit of bloody tail left. Let's get this guy in. See you later, dude. All right, let's get some more fish. I'm feeling good. It's about what I was expecting from back here. That's a good sign. That's a fish. Little fish. It's bass number two, though. Feels foul hooked. He's not hooked well. I wouldn't be surprised if the fish pops off. All right. Get in the boat. Here we go, number two. There you go, a lot smaller than the first one. Eh, it's about the same size, I don't know. It was a while ago. We'll get this guy back in, that's number two. Fish are eating over here. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. Was out here for three hours-ish, about three hours. Um, crappie bite was good, bass bite's there. Um, I think for me, it's just a matter of figuring out what these fish like. I was fishing down in uh, central Virginia, especially at uh, Sandy River Reservoir and Briar Creek, and the fishing was a whole lot different down there. Um, so it's just gonna get a little, little adapting to uh, what these fish want here, um, but that shouldn't be a problem. We should figure it out pretty soon. Um, but thanks for watching, and look out for another video. I'll probably be fishing here pretty soon. Uh, hopefully break it down a little bit more and get a little bit more bass.